about what you're doing now and imagine how much easier life's going to be with the pill. How do you get soft, silky and sexy hair-free skin? Shaving is out, ouch, and waxing, that's painful too. Smelly depilatories are old news. And laser hair removal is effective, but it can be really expensive and time-consuming. And it only works on certain skin and hair types. Say goodbye to the pain, the razor burn, the stubble or ingrown hairs. And never pay for waxing or laser treatments ever again. And have silky, sexy skin that's as smooth as a pearl. That gives you professional long-lasting hair removal result and more importantly it's affordable just glide the pearl over your skin it crystallizes and removes the hair feel the smooth sexy hair free skin it's that easy great to have you back with us and great to be joining Keiko hey. wonderful to have you here and Good as to be here as always stock disappearing Thank God we all. do struggle to hang on to Keiko because <laughs> the shows just go so so quickly the stock goes so quickly we've got Julia with us Hi. as well Julia we've got to have a little look at your legs before you <laughs> shave these I know we've just spoke to Julia and she's so embarrassed she said we've had Valentine's Day and everything and I look at my legs because you have bless you allowed your hairs to grow for us so you can really see <laughs> the results horrible, and it? it's it actually scares Keiko because she I hasn't had on. I haven't had hair on my legs in four years. That's disgusting. She's Look like at that. that. Oh. Bless, but this is what happens. And doesn't it always happen <laughs> the day someone says, Oh, do you want to go out tonight? And you think, Oh, I didn't shave. Yeah. And you think, oh, my God, Have I got time to shave? And you think, oh, I'll have to put trousers on. We tend to dress to which area of our bodies <laughs> yeah. have been shaved. But very unfortunate that this blockbuster was over Valentine's, really. Thank you, Julia. <laughs> the things you do, hey. The, the things you do. Thank Absolutely. You. We thank Julia very, very much. I'll let you carry on. Now, do okay, you. great to have you with us because to hear. To I love hear. the fact that this product. The reason you come here and show it to us is because this is a product that changed your life. Really, it's a product that you used before you started to demonstrate definitely, it. Definitely, definitely. Um, I come from a background of modeling and acting in New York City, and when you're there, you're not modeling just on the weekends or like a couple of days during the week. You've got to be ready to cast between like 8 a.m. till the you know, on Monday all the way through to the next Monday. It's like 24 hours a day. And you always have to be bikini ready. And because I am Afro-Caribbean and Spanish, I tend to have, we're a very hairy family. And I didn't realize until my agents told me how hairy I was. Because I actually went to a couple of castings and the feedback they got was that my face and my skin was really beautiful and it was for a big campaign. We're talking $30,000. But they said that they noticed that I had a mustache and that I needed to get that taken care of because I actually walked in kind of knowing I had one. But when that camera zooms in on you, they see everything. And you are so conscious, aren't you? That must Absolutely. have really thrown you there. Oh, no, I cried because literally I'd just gotten this agency and it's one of the best in the world and I thought they were going to drop me. But they're like, I said, listen, I wax and I said, it, sometimes it looks even worse because then I have a big red mark and then everyone can see it because I oh. might have a casting. And then waxing, you can't put makeup on yeah. top. So if you no. had then had a casting, exactly. you'd be in a right. And then I tried using my boyfriend's razor, not oh. like, not like you know, one of the razors there, but like a man's razor. And talk about making me feel horrible. Oh, my God. Our skin isn't meant to be shaven, isn't it? No. I mean, a, a man's skin is, is much ruggeder, much harder, yeah, so definitely. it can be. But as a lady, that's the, uh, that's the most unfeminine thing to Absolutely. do, isn't it? And I had sideburns as well. Um, so I actually got my agent to agree to send me to get laser. And I thought that this is going to be what is solve going all to your problems. solve everything. And I was going to be, I was going to get my mustache, my sideburns. I was even going to get my underarm. I just wanted it all gone because they were going to front me the money. And I was so relieved and so excited to see the doctor that day. And I went in there all ready to get this done. And they're like, sorry, you're Afro-Caribbean skin. You're not a good candidate for laser. And I just, I just gave up. I really did. I just was mm. crying. I was so upset. And he's just like, listen, listen, there's other ways that you can do this. There's new technology out there that's not based on light. Technology. And then that is the thing with laser. And laser are very expensive if you go to a salon to have laser, you know, and you have laser sort of applications done to you because you do have to do it over a period of sort of six months. And they're expensive sort of appointments every single time. However, there's, there's a few people that laser isn't right for. Right. It's not right for you because you've got a darker skin yeah. on, and a dark hair on a dark yeah, skin. Exactly. And it's not right for me because I've got a light hair on exactly. a light skin the skin has to be darker or your hair has to be darker than your skin for laser yeah, doesn't it, it so does. people with freckles and sort of ginger no yep. good gray hair, gray hair no, good. no good 
So, and in Asian, you could just think, the, how, who can use laser? There's just a small fraction of people out there that it's a good candidate for. And it's still super expensive, and you have to keep going back for a number of sessions to get rid of the hair. This technology is based on heat, which is amazing because it's A, affordable, you can do it at home, and it's just one button, and you push it, and you just go. And you get that immediate gratification of the hair being gone, because all you're doing is you're feeling a bit of heat, but that heat's going down into the, into the um, hair follicle, and then it's going all the way to the root, which is great because it's disrupting that growth cycle from the root. Well, it is. It's, it's upsetting the root. And if yeah. you cut a root, you know, the roots of a plant off, that plant isn't going to grow. And it's a right. similar sort of idea. But you do need to, first of all, it will stop the hairs growing back so thicker. They'll grow back lighter. And if you catch them in the growing stage, exactly. the, uh, you'll notice some hairs don't grow back virtually straight away. But you do need to use this over a period of time, yeah, don't you? Yeah, and I think you need to give it, if you're going to try it out for the 14 days, give it three or four days a week. And especially if you have, like, if you've gotten, like, if it's a, if if it's a gentleman and he's got thicker hair, just go over it, over it and over mm. it and be patient. Persevere because you will see a difference in those two weeks. I think you'll notice the hair growing back a little bit less and definitely not as thick. Um, but give it time and just persevere because honestly, I did it three to four times a week and in three and a half months, for me, I was completely not using it anymore and I passed it along to a friend. Which is so, and, that's such a good idea. Yeah, and I've not, I never think about hair removal until I actually come to Ideal World. So how long have you been hair free It's going to be f four years this June. That's why I'm freaking out when I was looking at that, you. That, and she was. I she was like, oh my I goodness, hairs on my legs. Like, <laughs> Keiko hasn't seen hairs on her legs for nearly four years, which is incredible. I've got to warn you about stock. We are super, super busy. Over 60% of the stock has sold out and gone. 309968. The wonderful thing is you do get these instant results but it's the long-term results that we're so so impressed with that long-term hair reduction and the other amazing thing is this is the only way of getting rid of hairs that I know of that leaves your skin so amazingly si silky, smooth, silky smooth isn't it no you have no red marks no you get no nicks no I cuts see, because yes. you have nothing it's touching so your skin smooth. You've just got the roller going over your skin, and then you've got the thermotransmitter, which is inside. So I could use it on myself, and then Julia could use it. And to be fair, it's completely hygienic. I mean, you, you might not want to do that, but you could do because... Absolutely. You, yeah. you can share it. You can get different heads as yep, well. You've got absolutely. the large head and the small head. You'll see at the moment Julia's using that large head on the leg area. But Julia, we had you in earlier on uh, during a pick of the day, I think. Yeah. Yes. And we, we solved a problem for you, we which did. you had a, a mustache, didn't you? you did. were, it, the, the clip of film is fabulous, and we are going to see this in a minute, yeah. because you were so thrilled because it's a problem you had had. Yes, struggled with it for, you know, since I got to your teenage years. And I'd have dark hairs, a few dark hairs, but mainly just a full of blonde, blonde hairs. But you could see them in the light. Mm, that's, that was my problem. Mine were light, yeah. but it's when the light caught it, you could you just, really see them. I was just so self-conscious about it. And I tried, like, I tried waxing and it was painful and I'd always get, get spots mm, afterwards. Yeah, me the same. Um, and oh, it was just awful. I tried just like, tweezing and it's just, oh, it's just a nightmare. And all those things just encourage it to grow back yeah. as well, doesn't yeah. it? So yeah. you haven't solved the problem. No. It seems to come back co coarser and thicker yeah. and more dark ones I was getting Absolutely. when I did yeah. try and shave yeah. and wax. So then trying this, I was just like, oh, it's so soft. And the reason... You stop touching my I know, <laughs> no, do you know, I'm the same. I'm often like this. I'm like, oh, I my know. goodness, it's, it is incredible. Cool. Incredible. Really. But the reason we can't show you this live now on Julia's top lip is because you have no hairs on your top <laughs> exactly. lip anymore. Yes. It's all down to pearl, but I want you to see when you originally tried it very much for the first time. Have a little look at this. I'm just going to go straight into it. I'm going to show you how easy it is to do it on someone else as well. So we're just going to get a little bit of our moustache. Yep. Now, this is using on the face. I can see yep. it disappearing already. And you're, okay, yeah. so I'm basically getting rid of that hair Look at on that. the top of the yeah. skin. Yeah. You can see a little bit of that smoke, but that's what you want to see. But that's what you want to see, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Yep. And then there you go. You can see it coming off. You can. And yeah. look at how, look at how, what of a difference. Now, you Take use a small one. buffer, don't so you? So we've got these yeah. small buffers. These are I'm the just little mini ones as well. Because it's going to get rid of that crystallized yeah. hair. Oh, and if you come in really so close, much better. I don't know Look if you that. guys can come in really close. Yeah, but you can, can see that I've just done that right left can side of hers. Can you see just just there? 
where it was a bit like sort of you've got the darker downy hairs. You can see there you've got already the patch has started. Yep. And um, this is fantastic. And now, do you know what I do? There's no redness, there's no marks, nope. there's no spots, there's nothing. Yep. Judy's going to be, can you put your makeup on straight away yeah, afterwards? But that's the great thing. Your makeup goes on smoother, yes. less cakey. You've got no hair on your face, so all your creams, all those expensive yep. creams you buy go on and they actually get into your skin mm -hmm. and nothing looks cakey and there's nothing looks overdone mm. and there's nothing worse than having hair on your face Absolutely. and your makeup have looking to, horrible. I'll touch it in a sec. You, touch it, touch <laughs> it. I'm just getting rid just of that crystallized that. hair. You're going to be absolutely delighted with this. I don't know if we have a mirror anymore. I don't have a mirror. But oh God, you know oh what we need to get a mirror next time. mirror to show you. But oh, so do you I know. It's so different. Yes. I'm so happy. It really yes. is. I have such a problem with it. I mean, I have a lot of like the blonde hairs but when mm. the light catches on there, it's so embarrassing. Okay. And then I get the random and dark ones which I'm constantly plucking oh, yeah. and I've tried waxing but instantly as soon as I wax I get spots just spots all over and it's yeah. so painful because yeah. yeah. when I when I had mine waxed I thought it was it looked worse than when there was like hairs on there yeah. I don't know what it was where there was marks mm, it does. and it can't snug if your skin up there either no. I can tell no. you that you can't imagine it's just, it's just ripping hair off your face well, exactly. it's, like, so it's too over there. sensitive for that kind and of that felt just absolutely fine yeah it's a, I mean, warm, warm it's a lovely sensation. warm sensation isn't yeah. it I was oh nervous to do someone else Oh, so there's nothing there. <laughs> How fabulous is that? Instant results. There was nothing there. And Julia's with us now. And there's still nothing.